There is often a confusion between the terms magma and lava. A lot of people call the liquid rock seen at volcanoes both lava and magma. However, the glowing rock we can see at volcanoes is always lava and never magma. Magma can actually never be seen on the Earth's surface. Why is that so? Magma is liquid rock inside the Earth. It forms when solid rock melts. This melt then moves through the Earth's crust along cracks, so-called dikes. We see here some bright colored dikes. These cracks opened a few kilometers under the Earth's surface due to the pressure of the magma. Some of the magma remained in the cracks where it solidified to form the bright colored rocks. Magma can accumulate in magma chambers from where it can continue to move towards the surface or where it can remain and slowly solidify. The orange colored rocks in this shot are remnants of a solidified magma chamber that formed below the surface. Today we can examine this fossil magma chamber because erosion has removed the rocks that were once on top of this magma chamber. Magma is a mixture of molten rock, solid particles, dissolved gas and gas bubbles. The gas is under a lot of pressure when the magma is at depth. As the magma reaches the surface, pressure is reduced to atmospheric pressure. Therefore, the gas escapes into the atmosphere and separates from the magma. And this is where we find the difference between magma and lava. Lava is degassed magma. We see here bubbles bursting in the lava. This is the gas that is escaping. Depending on the magma composition and temperature, the gas can also violently escape in the form of explosions. This is how volcanic ash is produced. So in short, liquid rock at the Earth's surface is called lava and liquid rock inside the Earth is called magma. Have you ever seen lava at an erupting volcano? Let me know in the comments.